Activity four. Here we go. Week four, activity four. Again, I'm going to demonstrate using the architectural one. And now we're going to put in an additional layout. And we're going to present your drawing on it. And I believe I've got the right scale here. Quarter inch equals one foot. We'll see by the time I'm done with my demo if that is correct. So let's open ourselves up here. And you'll see I've got the drawing done. Okay, I've got the walls, the windows, and the doors. And they're looking, they're looking pretty good. It's almost done. I see that I still need to do some cutouts on my interior doors. I can do those anytime I want. So here we go. Here's a, here's a layout. I'm going to add another layout. So I can't add a layout called architectural B-size if there's already one called architectural B-size. That's why I renamed my cover page. So now I'm going to put another one in. And I'm going to name it plate 4.3 architectural plan view or floor plan. Plan is fine. There we go. I've got it. I believe that my next step is to select the def points layer. Now let me tell you about that one. There's the def points layer. We added it in before. That's a very special layer. When we look at it, you'll see that it does not plot. So it shows up on your piece of paper. But when you come to plot, it will not show up. And that's what we like to have our viewports done in so that we don't see a frame. So I'm going to go to my viewport and then I'm going to create a viewport. Okay, so I'm going to click this layout button. We've all done this already. And I'm going to make a rectangular viewport. And I'm only going to put one view on this sheet. So I'm going to make it fill up that whole thing. And then um, it shows up, but I don't know the scale. And I need a normal scale. And I think a quarter inch equals one foot works, but we'll see. So to be able to scale this viewport, I have to click it from paper down on this lower right bar, paper to model, and then my viewports show up. So let's try a quarter of an inch measured on my piece of paper is one foot in the real world. That looks pretty good. It's going to give me room for my dimensions. And I might want to just center it up. I'm using the pan tool. My scroll wheel is pushed down. I'll have to actually look and see from my... It's pretty even. I've got about the same number of dimensions, top and bottom and sides. So that looks good. And once I've got it in place... And I've got my scale set right. Remember, we want to lock it so that I don't accidentally move it around while I'm in my model space. So there we go. That is activity four. I know that that's pretty quick and doesn't seem like a lot for a whole activity. But remember, you're going to do that with your mechanical, your landscape, and your architectural. And it's one of those things that gets, it's a major step. So I'm going to save my work and stop my video because we're almost ready to finish up. We're getting close at least. Here we go.